Ajiva Yoga family. Today we're going to practice a vinyasa based class and I'll call it core and flow. So for those of you who all want to kind of get a little stronger today in your practice, maybe build up some sweat, some heat, this is it for you. So grab a mat if you have any blocks, a little sweat towel, let's get started. So we're starting on our backs. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. And allow yourself to kind of land here, snuggle in. Place a hand on your chest and one on your belly. Close your eyes. And invite yourself to land here completely. Invite your physical body to get real heavy. Feel the support of the earth beneath you. Direct your breath in and out through your nose. And let it become a little bit slower, a little more deep. Notice that the deeper that you breathe in, you might feel the back of your body press into the ground a little more completely. As you inhale, allow the belly to expand. So feel the hand rise a bit, and then up into the chest. And as you exhale, reverse that. Chest relaxes, belly relaxes. Practice that a few rounds at your pace. Take one more deep breath. Open up your mouth. into the back of your skull. Begin to tune into your core so the lower belly draws in. And lift the feet off the ground just a couple inches. Keep this gaze on your feet and you smile at them today. Press your feet together pretty actively and lift your shoulders up off the ground. This is a great place to stay. Breathe deeply, pull the belly in. If you want a little bit more zest, start to pulse up and down with your upper body only. Keep your feet pressing together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release your head, release your feet. Ha! Release your breath. Take a good deep breath in through your belly. Open up your mouth, let it go. Ha! Let's do that one more round. Hands behind your head. Press the feet together and lift your feet off the ground just a touch. So let this light up your inner thighs, which is also part of your core. Squeeze your belly in. You can stay or you can pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release it down. Great job. Bring the feet on the ground, let your lower back just kind of settle. And the knees just kind of press in together, give your inner thighs a little bit of a break. Awesome. And then we'll bring the knees up in line with your hips and your feet in line with your knees at this right angle. Kind of looks like you're sitting in a chair, but you're on the floor. And bring your hands up to the tops of your thighs right above your knees. Hold the low belly. So this is a little bit of a isometric action. Press the knees, the legs into the hands, and the hands into the legs. So for me, I feel this in my quads and my core pretty actively. Keep pulling the legs in, hands press away the legs. That, now, let your legs win just a little bit. So they're going to pull a little bit more, but you're still kind of pressing into the hands. Just keep drawing the legs in, squeeze a little belly, breathe. And now let the hands win just a little bit. So push forward, but keep pulling the knees into the hands. Only you know who's doing the work here, right? So you push and you pull, breathe. 
And then give the knees a hug into your chest. Ha, good job. Breathe here. Breathe out. We're gonna move a little bit. Rock and roll, come up to your toes. Go back to your shoulders. Come up to your toes. And go right back to your shoulders. Next time you come up, we'll stay up in Navasana boat pose. So if you keep the legs and knees bent, you're welcome to straighten your legs. But we'll pull up through your chest. Breathe here. Shoulders draw down the back. Awesome. Inhale. Sweep your arms over your head. Exhale. Come down to a low boat. Just a hovering motion. Inhale. Lift up high boat. Exhale. Low boat. Let's do that twice more. Inhale. High boat. Exhale. Low boat. One more time. Lift up high. Come down to a low boat. Hover your whole big crisscross for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give your knees a hug into your chest. Good job. Big, big breath. Open up your mouth. Rock and roll. Come up to your toes and back to your shoulders. Two more times. We're going to pause at the top. Pause at the bottom. The next time you come up, we're going to meet in a downward facing dog pose. So go ahead and plant your palms. Curl into your toes and send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. They call this the real resting pose. After that, it might feel like a rest for you. So spread your fingers. Notice your palms. Really stretch them out as well. Let the head just be heavy and feel free to bend your knees, straighten your knees. You might shift your hips side to side. Anything that feels good in your body right now. Just remember to keep that Ujjayi breath alive, in and out breathing through your nose. And we'll come to a little bit more of a balanced body position here. So soften the knees, bring the hips up and back. Give yourself a good deep breath and big exhale. Set your feet a little closer together. Sweep your right leg up to the sky. Go ahead and bend your knee and invite your heel on the ground to drop down a little bit more. And as you do that, pull the right knee up high. Give your whole left inner thigh and hip a good yummy stretch. Straighten out your leg, breathe. Exhale, come forward, knee to nose, cheat out. So push into your palms. Send your leg up high, big, big breath in. Knee draws into your nose, cheat out. Do that twice more, lift your leg up high. Knee draws into your nose, squeeze, hold here. Push into the palms more, squeeze the knee and nose together. Step your foot right between your hands into a low lunge, and we'll twist. Right arm to the sky. Left hand on the floor, either fingers or palm. Good. Activate the left leg. Lift your left thigh bone and twist in towards the right. Take one more breath. Down dog, we'll meet. Plant your palm. Step back. Big, big breath. Big exhale. Come forward into high plank position. Just go ahead and stack your shoulders right over your wrists. Pull the pit of your belly in. You can always do this with your knees on the floor. It's completely amazing. So either way, just breathe. Set your eyes on the floor in front of you and activate the arms by pressing your palms down and hug the arm bones in towards one another. I feel my biceps when I do this, my biceps and my chest, which is part of our core. Pull the belly in, pull the arms together, and breathe. Okay, give yourself one more breath. Downward facing dog, hips go high. Deep breath in. Bigger exhale. Set your feet a little closer. Left leg, send it up to the sky. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Allow the right heel to drop this go around. Keep lifting the left knee up. Just drop your head, look under your left shoulder. 
a good space, good opening of the left hip and the right leg. Straighten out your leg, give yourself an inhale. Let's come forward, chia. You need to know, squeeze, pull the belly in. Send your leg up high. Bring that knee into your nose, squeeze in. Send your leg up high. Draw the knee into your nose. One more time, make it good, breathe in. Knee draws into your nose, exhale, push into the palms. Feel the core get strong here, and then step your foot between your hands. Situate your stance, and we'll twist left arm to the sky. Possibly look up. Good. And just breathe. Give yourself one more breath. We're going to meet at the top of your mat, ragdoll. Back foot comes forward. Set your feet about two fists apart. Breathe into a long spine. You can slide your hands high up on your shins, giving you length. Breathe out and fold forward. But either catch your elbows. Some days it feels really great to catch the back of your head and soften the knees. And give yourself some time to integrate this practice beginning. So breath, sensation, focus. head, just drop a little more heavy and you might even nod it and shake it out a bit. One more big breath. Release your hands to the ground. Heel toe the feet together. Come up into a long spine. Halfway lift. Bow and exhale. Sweep all the way to standing. Put your arms up high. Bring your palms to touch. Let's bring those two palms right at the center of your chest. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. It can be as simple as a word or a sensation or a feeling you would like to cultivate. Something tangible. Take in a breath, send your intention up and out. Exhale and bow forward. Softening your knees is always allowed. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Step back to high plank position. Breathe in here, high plank. And we're gonna lower it down slowly to the floor for five. Belly draws in four, three, two, one. Good, extend your legs and arms long. So, a variation of a locust pose. Lift your chest, lift your thighs. Feet can be separate a little bit. And just breathe here. Lift your chest a little more, lift your thighs a bit more. Then let the chin drop in just a touch. Give it a good inhale, lift. Extend a little bit more, length, exhale. One more big breath, lift up. Breathe out, forehead down, palms plant, toes curl under. Tuck the belly in to create a really solid core here. Lift your knees and press the high plank with straight legs or bent knees. And we'll meet back in an hour and facing elbows. Deep breath here. Empty it out. Give it one more big breath. Look to your hands. You can step, you can jump. Right into a halfway lift, long in your spine. Bow and exhale. Rise up to stand. Tadasana. Scoop up high. Eyes up to your thumbs. Fold forward and exhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen. High and low plank pose. You can go to the floor. You can go halfway down. Choose up dog or cobra pose. And as you breathe out, let's go high. Downward facing dog. Deep breath. It's working through some good basic sun salutations. Let's get the body warmed up, all the joints warmed up. Take one more deep breath. Empty it out. Pull the belly in. Let the knees soften. Look where you want to go. Step or jump. Right up into a halfway lift. Bow, please. It's 
Sweep up to stand, Tadalasana. Find a bit of a back bend, just a little hit. Stretch tall, move back, fold forward one more round. Breathe and lengthen, Chaturanga. Pull forward into up dog, Cobra. Thighs are strong, downward facing them. Please breathe. Big exhales. One more breath. Get empty. Step or jump right to the top of your mat. Halfway left. Bow. Stand up tall. Put awesome. Sweep up. Bend your knees, sink your hips, chair pose. Give yourself a breath. Pull the heart up. A little bit of a back bend here. Sink the hips down. Give it one more breath. Hands down, lay them right by your feet, fold forward. Halfway lifts. High and low push up, also known as chaturanga. Strong legs open across your chest, up done. Downward facing. Left heel grounds, right foot steps. Warrior one. We'll stay here for a few breaths to begin with. So allow yourself to sink into your legs strong. Adjust them if they don't feel comfortable right away. Extend your arms up hot, maybe by your ears, possibly you bend your elbows. Just do what you need to do to attend to any special need your body has today. Let's give yourself a deep breath. Reach up high and go a little tiny bit back. Take one more breath. Plant your palms. Move through a high and a little push up. You can always skip this part of the sequence and move right into downward dog. That works great. Right heel grounds, left foot steps. Warrior one, sweep up. Drop in. So right away, come into your breathing, notice. Activate your body, your legs strong. Breathe and lift your heart. Stay here, sink in. Give it one more big breath. Hands down, move through, high and low plank. Breathe into your back bend. Downward facing dog. Give it one breath. Big exhale. Look forward, step or jump up to the top. Halfway lifts. It's bow. Chair pose, Utkatasa. Sweep your arms up high. Hips drop down. But give it a breath here. Lift up on your tippy toes. So the heels rise. Let the hips sink down. And let them sink down so you're all the way back to the floor in Navasana, boat pose. So the knees hug in towards your chest. Breathe in, left. Exhale, go down to a low boat. I know you like it so much in the beginning. Let's do it again. Up high. Breathe out, go down low. Come up high, boat. Go down to a low boat. Just one more time, kind of high boats. Go down to a low boat, hold here. Give your knees a hug in, great work. Let your head drop to the floor. Let's take a breath into your back. And we'll come up and back into a rock and roll. So toes touch, shoulders touch, toes touch, shoulders touch. Come up, cross your ankles and pull the heels in towards your hips. Plant your palms, you can step back or jump back. Chaturanga. Move through your upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing. Ha. Please take a deep breath here. Open your mouth, let it go. Ha. Set your feet a little closer together and sweep your right leg to the sky. Come forward, knee to your upper right arm. Touch in to that upper right elbow or arm. Send your leg up high. Bring it across the body. Bring it to the left elbow. See if you can touch. Get really close. Send your leg up high. Bring it back to the right side. So hug in, squeeze. One more time. Send it up high. Fall in triangle. Right foot kicks to your left pinky finger. Kick your leg forward and open up your side body. So your legs are pretty integral here. They're really strong and opening up. You can stay just like this. Love this version. 
Option would be to bring the right foot more in line with your hip and pick the foot up off the ground. It's a lot of inner thigh strength there. Try it, see what it feels like. Another option can take your uh, left hand to the right foot. This is not my glory pose, so here goes. Extend the leg forward, and if it's possible, put your head and tuck under your left shoulder. I won't demo that today. But just keep kicking. Whatever you're doing, breathe. Take one more breath, and we'll meet in a three-legged dog. The right leg goes back to the sky. Step for crescent lunge. Find your footing first. Use your inhale, sweep up, and bend into your back knee. Allow that to open up the front of your left hip. And then find a little more lift off. Sink into the back knee. Let's breathe here. Give it one more breath in. Plant your palms. Right by your front foot. Standing splits. Left leg goes up high. Breathe into this. Come down to a curtsy squat. Knee behind the ankle. Send the left leg up high. Head drops. You breathe. Curtsy squat. Sink down. Two more times, send your leg up high. Curtsy squat, come down low. One last time. Knee behind the shin, come down, sink your hips. Keep your left foot lifted. You can keep your palms on the ground, or blocks, or bring your palms to your heart in Anjave Mudra, and lift your heart, holds for three, two, one. Let the palms step back to downward facing dog. Good job. And then stay in your dog pose. Or come forward in a high push up with an upper back ground. So think hat back. And we'll stay in high plank. Flip your toes upward facing dog on an inhale. As you exhale, chaturanga, curl the toes, lower push up, high push up. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Big exhale. Nice job. Set your feet a little closer together. Sweep your left leg up to the sky. Come forward, maybe your left upper arm. So hug and squeeze. Back leg is really strong. Send the leg up high. Bring it across the body. Twist under, pull in. Send your leg up high. Bring it to the left upper arm. One more time. Here we go, send it up high. Fall in triangle, left foot kicks to the right pinky finger. Open your way up. So do you remember your three options? You can stay here. You can bring that left foot more in line with your left hip, pick up the foot. Or you can pick up the left ball of your foot with your right hand and kick that leg forward. So you've got lots of choices. Or you can sit down and watch, that works too. Give yourself another two breaths. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Come back to downward facing dog pose. Begin a breath. Big exhale. Good. Sweep your left leg to the sky. Let's step into crescent lunge. Find your footing. Rise up. Sink right into your legs. So bend the back knee, allow your pelvis to find a bit of a ease, like a tilt forward. Good job. Bring a little bit more of length through your spine. Breathe into that. One more big breath. Plant your palms. Standing splits. Right leg goes up to the sky. Just inhale, launch it a little higher. Breathe out, lower down. Curtsy squat. Send your leg up high, you stretch up. Come down, curtsy squat. Two more times, reach it up high. Come down, curtsy. Last time, we reach. Come down, curtsy, we'll hold here. You have those choices, you can keep your hands on the ground. You can bring your palms together, lift your chest, sink your hips for three, two. One, step back, downward facing dog. Nice work, you guys. Pull forward into that rounded upper back head push up. Moving round, round, round. Flip your toes up, dog. Take the time to breathe here. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. High push up, downward facing dog. 
Big breath, create that focus. Let's take one more breath. Empty it all out. Look forward, step or jump up to the top of your mat. Halfway lifts. Let's bow. Chair pose, sit your hips low. Arms sweep up. Again, let the hips pull back and down. And again, come up on your tippy toes, the heels lift. Keep the knees lifting and lower the bum down a little bit more. Big, big breath. Big exhale. Give this one more. Lower the heels down, palms down. Let's take crow pose. So you can step back, palms flat, tuck the knees, pull the chest forward, look forward. And you might find a little bit of a balance here, hips over the arms. A beautiful option is molasso. The feet are enough width apart that you can get your heels down and drop into your hips. So you choose. Wherever you are, we go for three. Pull the chest forward if you're in crow. Two. On your time, if you haven't come down yet, step or push back. Chaturanga. Good job. Up dog. Downward facing up. Knees breathe in. Big exhale. Right leg goes to the sky. Let's come forward to your knee and nose. So push into the palms. Access your core. Step your foot. Warrior two. Window your way up. Sinking. So check out your stance. Front heel, back arch. Front heel, back heel. And drop on in. Set your eyes, your dristy, your gaze over your front fingers. And focus on your breathing. Let that be your true north, your breath. Notice how you feel right now. Feel your heart beating. Let's spin the front palm. Reverse your warrior. Stretch up and go back. Inhale, come forward. You can take your elbow on your thigh. You can take a bit of a side angle. Stretch, ground the back heel. Inhale, come up and go back. We come forward on a breath. Exhale, stretch long through the left side. Let's do that again. Inhale, come up. Breathe out as you stretch back. Come forward. Land in your side angle posture. So if you need to adjust your footing, do. And let's take the right hand on the inside of your ankle or your shin bone so you're not resting. You're more in your core. So if it means you're higher up, that's great. But create that stability from here and your strong legs. Extend the left arm long over your head. Breathe. Depending on your neck, you might look at your top hand, you might look at your bottom foot, anywhere in between. Just find ease in your neck. Breathe for three, two, one. Take your left hand out to your hip. Right hand is going to come out in front. You might pick up a block. We're going to half moon. So your right leg is probably like saying, what? So you might do a couple hop-ins like this. Let's step into the right foot. Straighten out the right leg. Pick up your left leg as high as your hip. Extend the arm over your head. Put now to the ceiling. With the weight of your body, the hips going to shift back a little. So you're more on the heel and the big toe on the floor. You can stay here or you can bend your knee for Chakrasana. Bound version. You can kick into your hand with your foot. Let's give this one or three more breaths. One more big breath cycle. Look down. Bring your hands to the floor. Step back into pyramid posture. So I'm going to bring my feet a little closer and a little wider. That might work for you. Just kind of see how this works into your hips and your hamstrings. And let's inhale, lengthen your spine. Draw your right hip back. Breathe out and fold over your front thigh. Breathe deeply. Two. 
two more deep breaths like this. to a halfway lift here. Step your right foot back to meet your left down to facing dog pose. Stay with this or optional, come forward into high push-up, low push-up, upper dog or cobra pose, downward facing dog. Sweep your left leg to the sky. Draw the left knee into your nose. Create that shiva qualities. Rounded back, belly draws in. Step for warrior two. Set your gaze over your uh, left fingertips in front. Check your stance if it doesn't feel comfortable and balanced. And then just drop in. Notice your breath. Relax your eyes, relax your jaw, relax your face. Feel what it feels like at this specific moment be in your body. Spend the palm. Reverse your warrior with a big inhale. Stay here and exhale. As you inhale, come forward. Elbow can lightly land on your thigh. Stretch long right arm over your head. Breathe in. Come up. As you breathe out, go back. Reverse. Come forward. Breathe. Breathe out. Lengthen your right side. One more time. Breathe. Reverse. Come forward. Land. And we'll stay in the side angle version. You can keep your left elbow where it is. You might bring your hand down if you want to light up the core a little bit more. So press into the left shin, the left ankle, and reach your arm over your head. And take a few breaths. Every time you exhale, twist the right rib cage. Open just a touch more. And take one more breath. Top hand will come to your hip. Look down for half moon. So you might want to pick up a block. You might take a couple of steps. Step into this left leg. Stabilize before you move into any other version of this posture. Stay the same with this. Your eyes relax. Your breath, your focus. You can bind if you want to take chapasana. Put it up. If you have your bind, kick your foot a little more actively into your hand and rotate open for two. And one more breath. Awesome. Downward facing up. Take your time. Step back. Wow. You can stay here in down dog. You can always move into child's pose, or you can move through another vinyasa, high push-up, low push-up. Upward facing dog, right back to downward facing dog. Please breathe wherever you are. Give it one more big breath. If you're in a child's pose position, bring yourself back up into downward facing dog, feet a little closer together. Sweep your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, let your hip kind of peel open here. So three-legged dog, or if you're interested, flip your dog. Right foot would come down, turn, let the belly and the chest reach towards the ceiling, and lift your hips. You're going to shift your perspective. Let's breathe. Two more breaths. One more calm, deep breath. From your flip dog, we're going to come around to high plank. Everybody will meet there. And roll we'll onto your right side plank. So right hand down. Spread your palm, root into your fingers. Left arm to the sky. You can smile. Makes it easier. You can stay here. You can drop a foot. Something like this. If you want to go a little bit more, you can pick your left leg up. Do anything that's fun right now. Just breathe for three. Open up. Two. Give it a good breath in. And we'll meet to the top of a high push-up pose. Breath in, high push-up. Now we're down to chaturanga, the warrior belly. Upward facing dog. Downward dog. 
right leg to the sky. Have another chance to take cheetah. So pull the knee in, pull the belly in. Crescent lunge, step your foot there between your hands. Sweep up to crescent. Again, sink into the hips. We've been here before, so come right back where you landed here. Let's take a breath, pull back. Prayer twist, left elbow or forearm hooks on the outside of your right thigh. You can always, always, always drop your back knee. You can always lift your back knee up. If you do, keep the back leg actively strong. From here, the palms can stay pressing together or you can open your arms like wings and use that bottom arm as a way, as a lever to open up a little more. Breathe. Anything goes. You have a variation you like, I want you to do it for four, three, two, good. Listen up, look down, it's your big toe, windmill up to warrior two. So you're asking your right leg to do a little work here. So come right in to your front leg and just take one big breath, let it out. Yeah, and straighten both legs. Turn all 10 toes to your left. So you're in wide leg straddle fold. Always extend the arms long out by your side. Breathe. Exhale, hands come to your hips. Broaden your chest, taking a deep breath. Hinge forward into a wide leg straddle fold. Prasarita Padottanasana. So release the hands to the floor. Let the crown of your head is gravitate towards the ground. And use the floor and as your hands press down and forward so you can get a little more forward folding action. If you all have a tripod headstand practice, I want you to do that. Breathe. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Just stay here and breathe for three, two, if you're in forward fold, lean the hips forward a little bit more. And then we'll come into a halfway lift. Keep your spine active and activate your legs. Hands come to your hips in this halfway lift. So really activate your legs. Come up from them to stand. Heels turn in, toes turn out. Sink into a plie with your arms out like this, like cactus pose. Broaden across your chest for a breath. Left arm. Wrap it under your right for eagle. Might look something like this. Might look something like, the, like this. Or even like that. You can do anything that works. And sink down a little more. Let's lift your elbows up and breathe. Sink a little deeper. So keep the action in the upper body. Turn your right foot to the top of your mat. Pivot your hips to so their square, eagle. Left leg is going to come up and over your right. Get your right foot up. Hook in towards your right leg, left foot in towards your right leg as best as you can. Mine doesn't quite wrap, it just hugs in. Just keep the hugging in action, drop your hips. Breathe. Drop the hips a little more, give them one more breath. Land your feet, sweep your arms high. Big, big breath. Let's fold forward. Halfway left, chaturanga. Your way, through your back bend, cobra or up dog. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Please breathe. Big empty. Looking a little closer together, left leg sweep it up high. And bend the knee, open up your hip. Stay like this, or Bring the left foot on the floor behind you. Straighten out the right leg or keep both feet anchored or flipped on. Find a new perspective. Lift the belly, open up the chest, and find a bit of a back bend. Breathe. Take two more breaths. And look down and make your way back into a high plank position. So you can take your side plank, it could be different on this side. You could drop your knee down and pick up your right leg. Just gonna listen to the left shoulder. Sometimes that's the 
Pos part of the body that dictates this posture. Hips are high. Keep the left foot active. Keep the hips high for two. Take one more breath. We'll meet at the top of a high push-up. Don't go anywhere until you feel pretty solid and breathe in. Bend lower down, chaturanga. Pull forward, up to. Hips go high. Downward facing down. Sweep the left leg back to the sky. Here's another chance for cheetah. Let's take it. So pull the belly, nose to knee. Step to crescent lunge. Sweep up. Drop into your hips. Let's take a breath. A little bit of a back bend. Twisting prayer to your left leg. Right elbow, right forearm. Remember the back knee can be up or it can be down. So it's kind of like a intention of your thumbs moving more towards the center of your chest. As you see, mine aren't quite getting there, but that's just the intentions there. You can open your arms, breathe. Find your way for three. Two, this pose is a lot of balance too. Really hug the legs together. One more breath. Warrior two, so strong left leg, come up, sink in. And for the sake of direction, I'm just gonna switch sides when I'm at, same leg up. Good, so straighten out your left leg. Turn your all 10 toes towards the center. Just time bring your hands behind your back. And you're more than welcome to grab a, a towel or if you have a strap there at home, grab that. So give your shoulders a little more space if it's necessary. And just breathe and broaden across your chest. And we'll take the exhale forward and down. Good. Let your head go heavy. Bend the knees a little if that feels more comfortable. Keep your arms active. So extend your arms long and hug them in towards each other. Let your triceps be feeling a little more activated. For three. Two. Good. One. Slowly, slowly come up to stand. So from your legs, from your core, come up, come up, come up. Plie. So heels turn in, toes turn out. Drop into a little bit of a squat here. Good. Take a breath, open across your chest. Right arm, underneath your left arm. Sink down the hips, lift your elbows. I'm just going to switch directions. You stay where you are. Turn your left toes to the top of your mat. Slowly pivot your hips. Eagle, right leg up and over. So you can tuck the right toes in the shin or even around the shin. You can take your big toe to the floor like this, a kickstand we call it. Sink the hips. Breathe and lift your elbows. For three. If you fall out of it, just come right back in. It's no big deal. Two. One more breath. Good. Land your feet. Sweep your arms over your head. Really nicely done. Hands by your side. Close your eyes. Feel your feet on the ground. And shift forward and back a little side to side and feel the anchoring of the big toe, pinky toe, center of your heel. And let that grounding energy just travel right up through your whole body, up to the top of your head, and feel that solid connection to earth. And open your eyes. Just take your right hand up by your side. Go dancer. So pick up the right foot, catch the ankle on the inside, Depending on your shoulder, it might feel more comfortable on the outside. Pull the legs in, squeeze the belly in. Inhale, kick or lift the arm up over your head. And then kick your foot back. So just kick back and lift through your chest. Pull up from the standing leg. Breathe. Kick a little more actively into that hand. Kick and lift your big toe for four. Three. Two, 
One, feet come down. Good job. Left hand, left foot. So either inside or outside of your ankle. It's a good shoulder stretch in itself. Right arm goes to the sky. Sometimes it helps to bend and straighten your standing knees to get a little more, a little more connected to the musculature of your legs. And kick. Kick and lift up. Four. Three. Two. One. Release. Both feet come to the floor. Arms by your side. One more balance pose. Tree pose. Right foot comes up to your left leg or your left shin. Palms together at your heart. Relax your shoulders down your back. So balance, keep your eyes focused at one place. Focus on your breathing. Interlace your fingers and spin your palms up towards the ceiling. And here, connect the ground from the bottom foot and press your palms up. Feel that whole lengthening action from the earth to the sky. And if you'd like, you can look up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Two. One. We'll just go to the other side. So right foot lands. Pick up the left foot. Let's go around and interlace the other finger in front. Spin your palms up. Feel the connection down. Press up tall. And breathe. Three. A little more lift in your chest. Two. One. Bring that foot down. Really great. Come to the top of your mat if you're not quite there yet. Samastitihi. Let's move through to Abhinyasa. So inhale, reach your arms up high. Take a bow and exhale. Pull forward halfway left. High and low push up. And again, you can go to down dog and we'll be right there. It's all up to you. Upward dog or cobra pose. Hips go high, downward facing gun. Give it a good breath. Open up your mouth high. Make your way to high plank pose. We're going to come down to your elbows and forearms for a forearm plank pose. So the palms can be flat or you can interlace your hands. It depends on what's better for your shoulders. Let the hips line up with your shoulders. If you're not sure where they are, look down and see. And then take your gaze forward. Lift your left foot up off the ground. So right away, your right quad is going to have to tone the lot. Now pull the knee towards your left arm without losing your plane. Send your leg straight back and on the ground. Lift your right foot up. Draw the right knee towards your right upper arm. Straighten your leg up. Bring that foot down. Let's do that one more time. Lift the leg up. Pull it towards your left arm. Straight the leg, foot down. Last time, right leg up. Bring it towards the right side. Straight in, foot down. Ooh, Sphinx pose. That's a little bit like work. So press into your elbows, palms, and pull the chest forward like you're trying to thread it through a needle. Breathe deeply. Awesome. We're gonna come all the way down to the floor. Bring your arms right by your side. And we'll take a locust pose again. We did this in the beginning. So we'll do one more. The feet about hip width. If it's comfortable for you to squeeze your legs together, do. We're going to inhale, lift your legs, lift your heart, and extend your arms long. Imagine you had a beach ball between your hands and you were trying to squeeze the palms towards one another. And this is the final little more dynamic action here. Lift up, hug your arms in, lift your thighs. For two. One more breath. Let's go ahead and lower down and bring an ear on the floor. Either ear is good. Soften your whole body. Forehead. 
comes to the center, and just kind of bend your knees as an option for bow pose. So if bow pose doesn't work for you, we'll do two rounds. You might do one leg at a time, something like that. You might do both legs. You can also stick with locust pose that we did previous. So hold, hold on to the ankles and feet, draw the legs in, and then start to kick back like you did in dancer, and let your chest pull forward. Check out your head, let your chin come drop in. You can look at the floor and really bring a good, strong, powerful kick into your legs and your feet. Breathe. For two. One more breath. Lower all the way down and again, take one ear to the floor, possibly your opposite one. Big toes together, heels fall apart. Breathe into the belly. One more round. Forehead or chin to the floor. Bend your knees, catch your feet or the opposite foot or locust pose. Pull the belly in, kick back into your hands. Rise up. Just for four. So breathe away. Strong kick. Three. You got this. Two. One more breath. Release yourself all the way down. Choose an ear. Soften your body, relax. Curl into your toes. Forehead back to center, plant your palms. So really tether in the low belly. It's going to allow your hips to get light and press the high plank right back to downward facing dog. Find a neutral spine, breathe into it, bend the knees, give it a good breath. Look forward to your hands. So this could be a step or it could be a hop. And across the ankles, kick the legs out in front of you, and come all the way down on the floor. Once you get to the floor, land your feet on the ground, about hip width apart, and reach your hands down and touch your heels. So get that some of that alignment. And go into bridge pose. So ground the heels, lift your hips, tuck under your shoulders. Under, under, and use the upper arms and the elbows to ground. Pull the chest through. So it's a mid back bend. Hug your legs towards each other. You can stay here in bridge pose. Activate the legs in. Heels pull out. Legs in, heels out. Or set your hands for wheel pose. Palms down, press up. Wherever you are, take two full breaths. As you come down from bridge or wheel from your shoulders, pick up your heels, pelvic tilt, roll through your spine, and let your hips land. Great job. Let's take one big breath here. Let's so do one more round. We got this. So bridge, wheel, Either one. You can take the elbows down, you can interlace your hands, or set your palms for wheel pose. So press and rise. Five. Four. Hug the legs together, heels apart. Two. Give it one more wholesome breath. And lower it down slow. There's some control. Great job. So your lower back land, hips land. If you were in wheel position, you know, circle out the wrists a bit. Slowly bring the knees in toward your chest. Give a little hug. Straighten out the right leg. So here's a couple options. You can go peace fingers to big toe, left leg straight. If you're not quite there with the big toes, I totally understand. Take a towel, or if you have a strap, and hold on to both ends in your right hand. Okay. Left hand's on your thigh. So on your breath in, I want you to lift your shoulders off the ground so you can tone your core body. You can even hover this left leg and draw the chest, nose to the shin. Breathe. Soften your jaw. Two more breaths, shoulders lift, tone the belly. 
Keep your leg over your head. Open your leg out to the right. You can look over your left shoulder for counter stability. Focus on grounding your left thigh bone towards the floor. Really hug down. Breathe into this. Right leg goes back to the ceiling. Lift your chest up off the shoulders off the ground, and this time bring your hands by your side. We're just gonna scissor slow. Slow. Let's make this a little more interesting. Bring both arms across to the right side with your right leg up, and over to the left side with your left leg up. So create a little twist. Lift your shoulders off the ground. Make sure you're breathing. You might smile here too. Makes it so much easier. For three, two, one. Keep the left leg up. Release your head, your shoulders. Either take that piece of your toe hold or the towel or strap at your left foot. Right hand on your thigh. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Tone in the core. Nose to knee. Activate your right leg. Three, four, your jaw, three, lift up, two, lower your head down, open your leg out to the left, keep active in your right thigh, ground the thigh bone, you can look over your right shoulder, might feel good, a good breath, awesome, come back to center with your inhale, exhale, lift it all up. And this time, lower your head down, draw both knees into your chest. Feel the low back, relax. Do one more core work, so left leg goes out straight. We gotta live up to our title, yes? Left knee's bent, arms by your side, lift your shoulders up. This is a great place to stay. Really tone in the belly. This is borrowed from my CrossFit friends, hollow rock. So we're hollow rocking on our sacrum. It's a really small movement, so just kind of a little baby movement. The smaller, the better, because the more you have your center in your core. Good, breathe. I can't count very well like this for five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, give your knees a hug into your chest. <sighs> right leg goes out long. Right to a hover. Bring your arms by your side, shoulders up off the floor. Pull the low belly in. Here you can stay or add that little motion. Breathe. Here's a nice alternative. Tuck your left hand behind your shin for your left thigh. Not cheating. Five, four, three, two, one. Give both knees a hug in. Whew, nice work. Breathe into your back. Happy baby. Love the low back, the head, shoulders to relax as best as you can. Slow down your breath. Let it become a little more deep, more deliberate. One more deep breath here, happy baby. Bring the knees back in. We're going to rock up to seated. Come into a seated posture called Baddha Konasana. So soles of the feet together, knees wide. You can apply your hands on the floor behind you by your hips so that you can get a little more height in your spine and a little more forward tilting from your pelvis. For me, this is a really effective stretch, like right now. I don't have to do a whole lot else. We're all going to be a little different. But the big toes separate those two and allow the soles of your feet to open. And keep that length in your torso. Just lean into this. You use your strong arms to push into the floor. Breathe. So 
You might move a little forward on your mat so you've got space. Left leg is going to swing around behind you. Right leg, knee can come to the outer edge of your mat. You can move that right heel closer to your groin or further away, depending on the range of motion in your hip. Stretch long through the left leg behind you and just work on squaring your torso off towards the front of your mat. Make your way down and forward. Please feel free to prop up a block under your hips or a blanket or something under your upper body. Usually I just stack my hands like this and let my forehead rest. Focus on a deeper breath. Nice, full inhale. Fill up your back body. As you exhale, soften, let go. Let your body become a little more heavy. Soften your jaw. into the palms. Let them on the floor. Curl the toes under behind you. Downward facing dog. Do what feels good for you. It can mean child's pose. It can mean paddle the feet out. It can look like a vinyasa. It's all up to you. Look to the hands. Bring your left knee to your left wrist. Side two. Reach your leg long behind you. Side might be a little more support. You can place a block under your leg or hip. Take your way forward. Slow, deliberate breath. Again, as you come out, choose your way out from your counter pose. Curl the toes back under, lift the hips. Might be a downward facing dog. Might be a vinyasa. Could look like anything you'd like it to be. Take a couple of breaths. Whatever you're doing, find some neutral neutrality. Eventually, look forward to your hands. You could step or hop through, but come to seated. And then go ahead and lie down on your backs. So we're going to move into something called an inversion. An inversion is something with your feet up in the air. I'll demonstrate a really lovely one that's really accessible to most everybody. Um, come on your back. If you have a block, bring that along. If you don't have a block, you can use no block or you can put a pillow under your tailbone. So lift the hips up and slide your block there and take the legs up. I always like to... Like it's starting to emulate, like I'm coming into wheel. Slide the hands down and slide the shoulders down. So it really opens across my chest. You could stay here. If you practice shoulder stand or if you practice headstand, here's your chance. So if you want to stay in your inversion longer than IQ, I want to encourage you to do that because our next move is going to be basically Shavasana. So, the benefits are said to be like three, yeah, three minutes in an inversion. So, you can close your eyes if you're in a supported version. 
tune in your focus to your breath. It's a very cooling posture to your, to your heart and also a real calming posture for your nervous system. Come the straight legs and pike. Take a child's pose. If you are in a shoulder stand, slowly make your way down. You might visit fish posture or just lay on your back. And those of you all that are with me with the block, just set your feet on the ground. Put your hips and remove your block. And we'll all land on our backs eventually. Give your knees a hug into your chest. Drop your knees over to your left side for a simple twist and hug the knees up towards your left shoulder. Stretch your right arm out and just look over your right shoulder. Slow deep breaths. Come right back to center. Give yourself one more big hug. Make it good. Give yourself a big hug, tuck the knees and the chest in, big breath in and out. Let's go ahead and stretch all the way out for Shavasana. So you're in final rest pose. If you have a blanket you want to cover yourself up with or any supports in this posture do, you might cover your eyes with your towel. Make yourself as comfortable as you can. Circulate a couple of deep breaths. And let all of that go. Just let your body rest. And may we be at peace. May our hearts remain open. May we realize the light of our true nature. May we be healed. May we be source of healing for others. May we be one with the breath of divine. Namaste, everybody. Thanks for joining me today.